Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of addition, specifically how we can add using a breaking apart strategy and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So we are going to just take a look at simple 3 digit plus 3 digit addition. So let's come up with our first problem, 372 plus 496. And we are going to use a strategy called breaking apart. And it's based off of the associative property of addition. The associative property lets you add numbers in different groups. It's called sometimes the grouping property. And so if you wanted to, you can just line these two numbers up up and down. This is what we call the standard algorithm. So I'll be doing that over here on the right towards the end. Right now let's talk about breaking up. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our first add in that's 372 and we're going to keep it just the way it is. We're going to take our second add in and we're going to break it apart by place value. So we're going to take this 496 and we're going to split that up into 400 plus 90 plus 6. So we're going to regroup it based on the value of each digit in each of the three place values. So think of it like expanded form. 400 plus 90 plus 6. And then what we can do is we can take our 372 and we can add that because really all I did was I just regrouped my 496 into 400 plus 90 plus 6. We can add that one step at a time. So here we're just adding in the hundreds place. So 372 plus 400, well that added together is going to be 772. All I did was change the hundreds place. Now we're going to bring in our plus 90. So we are going to have to regroup here. My ones place is not going to change, but my 9 and my 7, that's going to be 16. So I'm going to have to add the 2 and the 0 first. That's going to be my ones place. I'm going to put a 6 in the tens place because it's 16 and then I have to carry that 1. But I'm not adding any other hundreds at this point, so I'm just going to change my 700 into 800. And then finally I need to add my 6 and that's going to be pretty simple. So we're going to have, it looks like, 868. Now I kind of went slow on that, but sometimes breaking apart you can do that very quickly if you just take one chunk at a time. So let's see what happens in the standard algorithm over here on the right. You start at the ones place and then you move your way over and you just do one place value at a time. So 2 times 6 is going to be 8, so that checks out. 9 times 6, that is going to be 16, but you only put one digit in the tens place right there. So we're going to put that 1 up there, and really it's 16 tens, so I'm going to leave my 6 tens down here, my 10 tens I'm going to regroup. I'm going to make into a 100. I'm going to add this 100 plus the 300 plus the 400. That's going to be 868. Let's look at another example. We have another problem, 207 plus 154. I want to show you how you can break it apart. And this is great for mental math. So if you're ever needing to add something quickly in your head, so let's take this 154. But I'm just going to kind of break it up into two chunks which is also going to be the exact same. Instead of the 100 plus 50 plus 4, I'm just going to keep my 54 together because I already know that 54 plus 7 is going to be pretty easy. So really, I'm just going to add it into two chunks. I'm going to take my 207, and I'm going to add that to the 100 first. So that's an easy 307. And 54 plus 7 is something that I can do in my head because I know that uh, 54 plus 7 is going to be 61. So 307 plus 54 is going to be 361. So sometimes you can break it apart into just two chunks. You can keep the tens and the ones together if you wanted to. So this is how we do it in the standard algorithm. The seven plus four is gonna make 11. So we're gonna regroup 10 ones to make it a 10. One 10 plus zero tens plus five tens is six. And then two plus one equals three. So that's 361. So remember, there's a few different ways that you can break apart the second addend. In this example, we just kept it into two chunks, the 100 plus 54. But if we did it like we did in the first example, we would have broken up into three chunks, 100 plus 50 plus 4. 